Yeah. So it's interesting that Joe is now on your label. Right. Uh, because uh, one of my pet peeves was uh, a pro little project you were working on, uh, I'd <laughs> like to say 96 time, with a group called Deja Groove. Yes. And my favorite song on the album that he never released, Bad Kedar, uh, was sitting on top of the world with Joe. So what was the logic behind putting all that money behind such a such a good project? I thought that was a gold album for sure. Right. And then dropping it. Well, I think one, I like to I like to work with people that I like. Not that I dislike them, but they have to they have to understand the vision. And not that they didn't understand the vision, I won't throw dirt on them like that. But there was some friction in the group with the young lady and Ike and then Chuck. They all had different directions. Like, that's the sounds of sirens that you know you're really in Brooklyn. Alright? That's our signature. All right. um, the young lady, she had dreams of being a soloist that eventually became the name China. Yeah. And also Erica Badu's background singer. You had Chuck, he, he was a basketball player that went up to now represent, you know, athletes. And then Ike was a producer. So they, all, they had they they all had their own vision of a grander. So when they don't work as a team, then you can only go but so far. And if you notice in my career, I never signed a group to my label after that. All my success been individual artists. So with Erica Badu, did you know that she would be as uh, successful, yeah. as prominent as she became? Absolutely, because I already created the blueprint for D'Angelo. So all I did was shoot, like it's like going through a back. You just shoot, once you build a project and know, all ends out. While that window's open, yeah. shoot the next one through. Okay. So what's next for Kadar? Well, it's not so much what's next, it's more, you know, stability. You, you know, surely have stability. Yeah, well, I hope so. I would like to think so. Yeah. You never know till your world comes crashing down, right? They yeah. said, I thought I was stable. You know, like yeah. a marriage. Sure. Damn, you went and filed for the boss, I thought we were stable. <laughs> sure, but sure. at the end of the day, I think just redefining the model. Everybody talk about the 360 deals and all this, and giving artists money. But really, you know, partnering up with the artists and making them your partners and letting them understand their worth and letting them have part of their own legacy or sharing that with them because my legacy is Joe's legacy. Joe's legacy is my legacy. I've been in the movie 10 years. My so, wine company, first African American owned a wine, French wine company called Chorus. I was on a couple of Black Enterprise, you know. So I think it's just diversifying, which I always done as a lawyer. And, um, but what's next? You know, just making sure my artists are successful and making sure that Joe and them guys diversify because, you know, they need to know they can't do this forever. Yeah. And I think, I think that's important. You know, it's like a lot of people, they get satisfaction of, of gloating about themselves. I get satisfaction of, about my artists talking about me and not saying, this is what I did for this person, this is what I did for that person. So at the end of the day, it's just making sure that they're right, signing the right artists, and of course, you know, putting out the new Jack Swing, not the new Jack Swing, but the Uptown compilation. The greatest hits that's coming in August. So, so what are you doing with that? Well, actually, I'm running it through my label through Keto Entertainment, distributed to Universal Fontana, and it's gonna have like the greatest hits on uh, Uptown, like volume. This is gonna be volume one. We got four volumes, like the party mix, what have you. So, is this uh, a retrospective view of the music that was there before, or is all, it all, 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 all the music that Andre and them guys signed and Puff did, from Mary to Father MC to Heavy D? You know, okay. you know the names to Joe to see. Yeah. So yeah. So that's coming so out. Biggest hits. Yes, that's coming out. Biggest hits. And you, you said you also mentioned you're working with Chico DeBarge. Yeah. Well, Chico signed to my label. Him and Joe are coming out actually on the same day. Because I heard Chico's got a new single. It's on or it's, it's called Oh No. Oh No. That's it's incredible. That's it. Matter of fact, him and Joe, uh, him and Joe produced that. So okay. we feel real good. You know, feel real good about it. The album's incredible. It's called Addiction, and I got Joe and him coming out the same day, July 14th. Okay. Would you like to say anything to your fans and... To my fans? I don't have fans. <laughs> to my fans. To your... No, I'll just say this to Chico and Joe fans. The album's coming July 14th. It's an incredible album. The album's coming out for Joe's called Signature. Joe wrote, produced, and arranged. Chico wrote, produced, and arranged his. The instrumentation is incredible because Joe's playing a lot on the album. Sure. And y'all gonna if you love I Wanna Know and all the signature sound, you're gonna love this album. And if you love Long Time No See for Chico, you're gonna love Addiction. And that's July 14th. All his fans. I'm fans of theirs, so I don't have fans. That's like having a grand fan, right? 
a grand fan. <laughs> well, that's Kedal Massenberg. This is JoeFrenzyS Forever.com. We'll see you again soon. Peace.